we've all experienced some degree of being left out in life. And uh, that's all any of us want, is to be included. If I were talking to someone who, who was feeling excluded, or was being excluded, I would say, look, this isn't about you. This is blindness, or just, at the very least, a lack of kindness and consideration on the part of others who are probably self-consumed, as most of us are. So you continue, you remember who you are. Above all else, we have to constantly remind ourselves that we are cherished children of a Father in heaven who loves us. If we're impatient with someone who doesn't seem to be progressing as fast as we think they might, I think it's always good to look at our own journey and see how fast we're progressing either now or were at some point. And if I, if I have those thoughts, it's an instant check to, to prevent me from feeling that way about someone else. Largely because I realize how extraordinarily patient our Father in Heaven is with, with me and with all of us. One of the great lessons of the Gospel is that we get so many fresh starts that we can start again and again, that we can fall, that we can stumble, that we can pick ourselves up, and that we get a fresh start. You know, there's so much in daily life that doesn't suggest that at all. And um, this, this is a place that we get to begin again and begin again and again. I think we lose sight of that. And I think that's so encouraging for, for people who, who might get down on themselves. I know a lot of people grow up in the church and it can be cultural. Um, it can be just what we do. Others will say, well, why the church? And I had an experience, I suppose it's about 15 years ago, I came from our home in England to General Conference, and I was coming out of a session surrounded by people from all over the world. And I thought, this is it. This is the church. We're from everywhere. We include everybody. And this is where I belong. And it was a wonderful feeling. I think whether you're coming into it for the first time or if you've been here for generations, um, we have to remember and constantly remind ourselves that as someone wise once said, this is a hospital for the sick, not a monastery for the perfect. There is nobody perfect here. We're not going to find them. It isn't going to be you. We're here because we all need help from one another. Some of us are helped more for a season by helping others. Others need help for a while. And at different points, we're both of those. But we're here to help each other, and it serves us well to remember that.